Thanks for joining us. This month, we look at three motion pictures that explore the idea of love and romance. All three of these are absolutely suitable for that very special movie night over the Valentine's Day weekend. Up first from 1973, directed by the legendary Sidney Pollack, it's The Way We Were, starring Barbara Streisand and Robert Redford. This film is an absolutely perfect example of how a film thoroughly hated by the critics can make a ton of money with two very bankable stars. In this case, $46 million in 1973 dollars. But it wasn't the story, rather the sound of this film, that made it memorable. Two Academy Awards for Best Song and Best Original Score were given to Marvin Hamlish. The title song became Barbara Streisand's biggest hit, and Billboard magazine named The Way We Were as the biggest song of 1974. The Oscar also provided Hamlish with membership in a very exclusive club, the Pigot Club. Hamlish remains to this day one of only two individuals to win a Pulitzer Prize, an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and the Tony Award. The other, Broadway legend Richard Rodgers. Our next recommendation is the 1989 romantic comedy When Harry Met Sally, written by Nora Ephron and directed by Rob Reiner. The movie follows the on-again, off-again, and then on-again romance between Harry Burns and Sally Albright, who together ponder the age-old question, can men and women just be friends? Billy Crystal plays the glib, world-weary New Yorker Harry Burns, while Meg Ryan is her charming and always effervescent self. The film is notable for introducing into the American lexicon a couple of unique phrases or words. The first being high maintenance and transitional person. That certain special someone who comes between that certain special someone you just left and the certain special someone you really, really want. And of course, who can forget Meg Ryan's classic scene in Katz's Deli, which causes a female customer, played by Rob Reiner's mother Estelle, to utter one of the greatest quotes in movie history. I'll have what she's having. Our romance trifecta concludes with 1990's Pretty Woman, featuring Richard Gere and Julia Roberts, and a host of great supporting actors, including Hector Elizondo, Laura San Giacomo, and Jason Alexander. Now, the original script treatment called for Pretty Woman to be a very dark drama about the hazards and trauma of the world's oldest profession. But Walt Disney Studio head Jeffrey Katzenberg wasn't having any of it. He insisted that the script be reworked into a modern-day Cinderella love story. And the Disney shareholders are glad he insisted, as Pretty Woman became the all-time rom-com record holder for tickets sold at just over $42 million and launched Julia Roberts into Hollywood stardom. Enjoy these and many other great film romances available at your Mount Julian Public Library. Happy Valentine's Day!